Eagle, 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 let's go. Right in front of you, they're gonna put somebody right in front of you. Quarterback legend Steve Young saw all of his childhood dreams come true on the playing field for the 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers are the world champions. Now he's using that elite NFL know-how to help create a new kind of football dynasty with fellow Niner John Pay. This is really a fun tour back through our beginnings of how we learned to play the game. To coach girls that have never played before. My daughters, they love football. My, my daughter, Kiana, what do you think? She says, this is my favorite sport. It's been a cool, kind of full circle moment for me. I wanted to do what my dad did and feel what he felt when he was doing this sport. You could sense their inclusion. They, they were included in, in America's game, and it was so meaningful to them. To be able to coach with my 49er teammate at my alma mater uh, for girls flag football has just been you know, surreal. Starting right now is John Pay. Pay is a member of Menlo School's Hall of Fame after lettering in football, basketball, and baseball there in the 80s. Later, he introduced a fellow NFL rookie quarterback to the school. My first year with the 49ers, the NFL went on strike after game one, and we had no practices. I was asked to help the girls' basketball team, and Steve didn't have anything better to do either. The next thing you know, we were coaching the uh, girls' basketball season. Uh, in 1987 uh, that my sister played on. I was over here handing out towels. If you can keep up with John in his mind as he coaches that basketball team, that's an amazing superpower. Here I can help because I kind of know what, what, what I'm talking about. So it's like, oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, here comes somebody. Pitch. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to have two, you got to have two things in your mind. Okay. You got the person you're watching and you got to remember where is this, where's the girl that's tracking me. The two quarterbacks teamed up on the coaching sidelines after the state of California joined a growing movement to recognize girls flag football as a varsity sport. The neat thing about coaching girls is they're, in my opinion, a lot more receptive to teaching and they'll actually listen to you. They're even implementing the West Coast offense made famous by the Niners mastermind, Coach Bill Walsh. We're teaching terminology and concepts to uh, these girls that are you know, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. The way we're teaching it is what we knew from the very beginning. There's simple plays that Bill Walsh had that were still being used in the NFL today. A lot of those basic plays are what we've been teaching. Boot, 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 boot. Oh, she's fired up today. Yeah. Fired up for the go route. If you're gonna go go route, Chief, I want it up early. Yeah, remember, it's like it's like a banana coming this way and then just and you put it up in the air. It's that fun process, like working with young quarterbacks who have never really thrown a ball. It feels funny, but you get your elbow out, now your arm can actually, but if you don't, then you're always gonna be weaker because you don't get the torque. Yes, yes. They know exactly what's going on, and so it's really insightful to like just hear from them because they know what you're going through. My dad's number is number eight, and this is the first time I've actually ever worn eight for any of the sports that I've done. Both my brothers didn't play football, so this is just really special for both of us. It's super crazy. They're always quoting like Jerry Rice and all these famous people in practice. When we're like looking for the ball, we have to like squint our eyes, like Jerry Rice does. He like flexes his eyeballs. I want to be able to know that I worked hard and played hard and did everything that I needed to do and by the end of the season feel good about how I've been playing. So far, the girls are proving they'll do whatever it takes to be on the playing field. The way that the girls have responded immediately told me we should have been doing this for a while. They are empowered to play the game that they've watched their whole lives. And they're included and they're loving it. We're representing our school. Yeah! Yeah!